Okay, so uh, this video is a quick lore dump on Foxer, Alexandra, and Surasound. The reason why I'm doing this is because there's a Friday Night Funkin' mod that features these three characters and I need to, like, you know, add on to stuff and make it all thorough. This is all stuff I've put in the Discord server, but I'm making this for the public just for y'all to see a little glimpse of these characters. Foxer's Freelizing Frenzy takes place in a cartoonified version of the Roblox game Sonic Pulse, the thing that you're seeing footage of. Also, yeah, um, humans exist and EXEs exist. Foxer was created on July 15th, 2019, and it's the third OC ever made. His design had been, uh, basically unchanged until, like, literally a month ago, where I decided, let me just put black indents all over his body and give him spikes, and now gave him the name Foxer the Spiker, and everything settled right in. Similarly to Fang, he's a hybrid character. That's why he's now known as Foxer the Spiker. He already has sprites made for the game, but now I have to rework them because of the new design. Alexandra the Tamandura was recreated back in 2021, and her first design was that of an echidna. There's a good reason for this. Both she and another character that I've made were intended to be one-off echidna characters made just to showcase the update, but then I decided I want to draw these characters. So now we've gotten to a point where I actually have decided to give this character a distinct species that hasn't been shown off in a Sonic game before, Tamandura specifically, and I got to design, and here we are. Alexandra's design after she became a Tamandura had mostly been the same, it's just how, like, proportions were drawn was where the changes go to. Alexandra isn't wearing a full-on black jumpsuit, that's literally her fur, and it reaches up to her shoulders and gives off these cool awesome indents. And that was a really clever workaround for the whole, um, female Sonic characters are allowed to, like, wear full-size outfits but the males can't. That just feels like a weird double standard thing in Sonic, I don't know why. Alexandra's voice actor is Bean Bean in 8 they're an awesome cosplayer. And they really do a lot of cool things. They also do their own art, and they have their own characters, which will appear in the mod. Other stuff includes about how Alexandra's tail is flexible, the relationship of Fox and Alexandra, and, um, some headcanons and cosplay stuff. Cartoon animals can cosplay that are made by people who cosplay. Hmm, who would have thunk it? Yes. At the end of the day, everything came together. Love the character, love the VA, give the VA support. They're awesome. Speaking of VAs, Sora Sound has a new one. Tired cosplays like Bean Bean and 8 they have their own characters, and I will redesign them as well. And talk about them. Sora Sound the Alteryx was originally known as Blast the Hedgehog, and he started out as my Super Smash Bros. 4 custom character. You know, custom moves, the whole shebang. I can't believe I did this. And I've still hung on to it to this day. The Sonic skin I'm talking about has been there since Brawl, it's an ultimate, and it's just really, really cool. It's my favorite one, so of course I made a character out of it. There is a TikTok post with this guy in it, and I think it's the most I've gotten out of the photo log feature, so that has to be something. The design is old, but most of the stuff in this is still true to his character. Yes, even the kin list. You can see the collector in that list. Oh my gosh, what was I on? There are two quick things I need to note. Number one, um, Sora Sound, before he met Foxer and Alexandra, was making guns out of monster energy drink cans. That's crazy. Characters actually ate this stuff up. They actually work. The guns work. They actually shoot the liquid from the energy drinks. The second thing is that aside from the fact that these characters are essentially just taking two personalities of different versions of Ninja Turtles and stitching them together and uh, basically taking Kirby abilities and matching them with their already existing ones, they also share the design qualities of Dink and Rumpa characters. This is shown more on Soro and Foxer with the fact that they're clearly based on Kokichi and Nagito in some way, shape, or form. There aren't really any design aspects I could point of Alexandra being looking a lot fancy and being rich high status, but she's just lumped there as Togami guy, cause uh, just because. I think that's everything for these characters, aside from the unused and Majin parody we have. Fox and Alexandra show already has an episode done already, I just need to record the second one, and I think we'll be good. Note that the first episode is like a month old and it stitches the pilot and the first episode together, so 
Yeah, just tell me that. Oh, and uh, sorry for everyone else. I mean, I've been holding this off because I've been procrastinating a little bit. You know, a lot. And I really should script this stuff because it's been like three days just trying to make this thing. At least everything's worked out. Regardless, thank you for going through this non-scripted video, so, uh, you just have a good day and I'll see you another time.